Diffuse light or soft light is one of the easiest ways to help achieve the film look. It's a straightforward technique that you can use to help reduce those hard shadows. So in this episode, we're going to talk about some cheap diffusion methods that you can use. Welcome to the film look. One of the main lights we use here at the film look are a set of 800 watt lights. They're super bright and you can even dim them. Problem is, they produce a very powerful hard light. So when I first bought these lights, I knew straight away I needed to soften the light. As you can see, it's pretty harsh on me right now. What you normally do is buy diffusion paper, which is really expensive for what you get. So I need to find something that was a fraction of the price. So I thought, easy, printer paper. I have loads of it. The light can shine through it and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. But wait, those 800 watt lights get hot, really hot. We even have to wear gloves when touching the light when it's on. So sticking paper on front of them was playing with fire, literally. What I needed was something cheap, easy to get, but something that would withstand a lot of heat. My solution was greaseproof paper. It's made to be used in the oven, so it's perfect. I picked up a roll for a pound. Then I cut it to size and pegged it to the lights. If you have to replace it, it only costs pennies. So how well does the greaseproof paper work? Well, I'm currently being lit by that same 800 watt light as earlier, but now it has the paper on it. So let's have a look at a comparison with and without. This is it with, and this is without. Next we have a set of can lights which hold household bulbs. This one's currently got 70 watts in it. Let's see a comparison between with the diffusion and without. And finally, our 160 LEDs. Another way to use it is to cover windows in your scene. If you have a bright direct sunlight coming through, it can sometimes give you trouble in terms of dynamic range and exposure. If your window is out of frame or out of focus, you can throw the greaseproof paper on the window panels and soften the light, and it doesn't cost a lot. Here at the Film Look, we often give nicknames to our equipment. So what do we call this stuff? Over to Richard. Well, it's called greaseproof paper. There is a musical and a motion picture called Grease, the main character in Greece is called Danny Zugo, so how about Danny's? For example, yo, throw me over a Danny. Yeah, that works. So what if we need to diffuse more light? The grease proof paper isn't massive, so we have a few other cheap DIY and super low budget methods. If you don't already have a five in one reflector, get one. They are really cheap and can be used in a million different ways. It has a white fill, a negative fill, a silver sheen, and a hip hop music video mode. In terms of diffusion, if you remove the cover, you have a large transparent panel. With something bigger, you can create distance between the light and the panel, which makes the light even softer. We also use one of these blinds from Ikea. You can peg it onto a light stand or a mic stand, like we do. This one is super lightweight and is always in my lighting bag. If you need something bigger, a shower curtain is the way to go. This one is frosted, so it works really well. It does need a big area to be set up, but you can easily fit three 800 watt lights behind it and blast soft light into your scene. Thanks for watching. If you like the techniques we used in this episode, let us know in the comments below. And also let us know about the diffusion methods you use to diffuse your lights. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And if you haven't seen it, here's our last episode.